In this lesson, I'll show you two quick examples on how to integrate logarithmic functions. Let's start with question one. Integrate the function x times ln 3x to the power of 2 dx. To integrate this problem, I'll need to use the following rule, where if I have the integral of ln u du, the integral is u times ln u minus 1 plus c. Let's go ahead and use that for question one. To set my function up so that it looks like this, I'll do a u substitution where I set u is equal to 3x squared. Essentially, I set u equal to that expression. If I take the derivative of both sides, I end up with du over dx, or du is equal to 6x dx. I use the power rule that gives me 6x. Next, I'll solve for dx. And if I do that, I get dx is equal to du over 6x. What I'll do next is substitute this into here. I have the integral of x times ln u, and instead of dx, I'll place that, du over 6x. This x and this x will cancel out. I'll take this 1 over 6 outside of the integral, ln bracket u du. I know the integral of this. It's the following. So my final answer is 1 over 6. I'll introduce square brackets. My u was 3x squared bracket ln 3x squared minus 1, close this bracket, plus c. Now before we conclude, this 3 can cancel out with this 6, where this becomes half, and this represents the answer to question number 1. Let's move on to question 2. In question two, they want us to integrate between three and four log three x minus seven dx. What we have to do is convert this log expression so that it has the base e. In other words, we want to make this into a natural log. And the way we do that is we use this conversion, where log of n is equal to ln n over ln 10, or if you don't want to use ln 10, you can use approximately 2.30. Let's go ahead and convert this first and then use the exact same logic in question one for question two. So we have the integral between three and four. I'll convert this where this is technically my n. So I have ln of three x minus seven over ln 10 dx. I'll pull out ln 10 outside of the integral where I have one over ln 10 times the integral between three and four, ln three x minus seven dx. I'll do a u substitution just as before. u is equal to three x minus seven. This gives me du is equal to three dx. This becomes zero and this becomes, as you can tell, three. Therefore, dx is equal to du over 3. What I have now is 1 over ln 10, the integral between 3 and 4, ln u, dx has become du over 3. Next, I'll pull out this 1 over 3 outside of the integral, where I have 1 over ln 10 times 3. And to find the integral of ln u, I'll use the following, where I have u times ln u minus 1. So let's write that down so we won't forget. u times ln u minus 1. In our case, u is 3x minus 7. So I'll replace that with 3x minus 7. And I'll replace this with 3x minus 7 minus 1. I'll take this now and replace all of this with the following between the bounds 3 and 4. The rest is up to our calculator. Let's use our calculator now. 3 times 4 minus 7 is 5. 3 times 4 is 12 minus 7 is 5. So 5 times all of this where we have ln of 5, remember that's 5, minus 1. 
I just found out what this is when x is equal to 4. 3.047 minus, now we're going to do the same thing, but when x is equal to 3. When x is equal to 3, 3 times 3 minus 7 is 2. So I'll replace these 5s with 2. And that gives me negative 0 0.613 negative 0 0.613. Let's find out what that is equal to. 3.047 plus, because that becomes a plus, 0 0.613. And then I'll divide this by ln 10 times 3. Divide by ln 10 times 3 giving me an answer of 0 0.53, 0 0.539. That represents the answer to question two, and that is how to integrate logarithmic functions.